I felt like before I came, became a Christian, I felt like I could handle all my problems. I felt like I could sit up there. If I had a problem, I would just be like, you know, I can handle this. I, I can do this. I relied on my own strength. As problems got harder, problems got tougher, I started to realize that it wasn't me. You know, getting me through those problems it was God. The biggest struggle, my first biggest struggle was when I was in junior college. Uh, first year out there playing football, I was a safety. Uh, in my first scrimmage, I went to go tackle guy. I tore my quad, so I was pretty much out for a whole year. During those times, um, you know, my grades were bad. I was failing. I almost got kicked out of school because of my grades. I wasn't playing football. I was six hours away from home. So just, just in that little bit of time, you know, I, I, I've been through so much. When I got to Temple is where I really found God. Uh, my, my first wide receiver coach my junior year there actually gave me my competitive Bible. And he just told me just start reading a scripture a day. Um, each day I began just picking the scripture. It started off with like a, a story. Then it would go into a scripture. Then it would end with a daily prayer. If I could relate to these stories, I could relate to certain scriptures. And um, when times got hard at Temple, um, I would just go back to scriptures and uh, repeat different scriptures in my head. I, um, I think that my, my, my coach for giving me that Bible it really changed my life. It really opened me up and... Uh, that was like really my first experience of uh, really knowing God and, and, and starting to really feel his presence in my life. A quick story, uh, this year was probably the hardest year for me. Um, I had two broken feet. And um, when I first signed with the Raiders, um, it was a little hard for me because I wasn't drafted. Well, the draft process was a pretty stressful time. Um, coming out of Temple, I had 19 catches my senior year. I looked had a bunch of other receivers coming out the same year as me. I was competing against guys that had like 103 catches, um, guys from Western Michigan that were breaking records, and here I was with 19 catches. Um, I worked hard um, all, all season, from January up into Pro Day. I trained in Michigan, I trained in Philadelphia, and um, the biggest thing for me was to run fast at, the, at my Pro Day, catch the ball great, run great routes. I knew that was going to be my opportunity. I didn't have the stats. I didn't break any records. So I knew that I had one chance now to perform in a pro day. Um, it's kind of crazy. Pro day came around. We was in Philadelphia, probably mid-March, and it was about 39 degrees. We're outside. We didn't have indoor turf, indoor facility or nothing. Um, it was slight rain, snow, ice everywhere. And uh, we had to go out there and perform. So I prayed, I just asked for strength from God, and uh, he, he delivered. Um, I ended up going out there, I ran a 4.37, I ran great routes, I had like 11 plus broad jump, a 38 plus inch vert. I, I had some amazing numbers, and I had about five scouts come up to me afterwards, like, uh, where, where, like what happened? Why didn't you have the year you, you were supposed to have? And at Temple, we was a running, running heavy school. Um, we ran the ball almost every other play, and then when I came into play, we threw a play action for a touchdown. So that's how it worked. I would block and then go t catch a touchdown and that was it. And that's when it really hit me like, man, I might get drafted and I really got a chance to make it in the NFL. I went to Michigan over my agent's house for draft day. And I knew I wasn't going to go the first or second round or the first or second day pretty much. Um, the third day came around, fifth round through seventh and phone calls started coming in from various teams. I would hear one of the coaches, you know, tell me to be patient. They might take me this round. Fifth round went by, sixth round came, same process over. They would call back, okay, we're thinking about taking you this pick. Pass by. Seventh round came, started getting a little anxious, anxious and impatient. And, you know, uh, I just went upstairs and prayed. I was like, you know, I just want a chance. I don't have to be drafted. I just want to go play football. That's all I wanted to do. Um, seventh round went by. Teams kept calling, nobody drafted me. Um, I was disappointed when the draft was over, but um, when I was in the room by myself, I just prayed again, uh, give me a sign. Uh, now it's free agency, I need to know where do I go, what do I do? And the weirdest thing happened, um, after I prayed, I walked around the room for a little bit, and I noticed a bag on the floor. This bag had, it was black and silver, and it had a skull. I was just like, what is that? It looks like the Raiders. Well, it wasn't a Raiders logo, but it was similar. That was a sign. So I went down to my agent. You know, we, we, got, we got to go with the Raiders. Uh, my 
family loved him. I grew up a Raiders fan. Uh, I feel great about this. This is this is where I want to be. And it was funny that after the draft happened and I wasn't drafted, my mom called me and she was crying because she thought it was over. But she didn't know that I signed to the Raiders. And as soon as I told her, she was just, just broke down in tears and was so happy. Uh, my mom was uh, the most amazing woman in, in, my, in the world. It just she, she loved everything about what I did on and off the field. She was my biggest supporter. She was the reason why I pushed so hard to help others. She was always that voice in my ear telling me to keep doing good no matter what. So it's kind of crazy how it all works, you know. Um, I was stressing through the draft process. I was anxious. I had a bunch of emotions, but in the end, I just trusted in God. I prayed and I got my answer. In October, my mom passed away. So, you know, going into the season, I was expecting high hopes. I thought I was going to have an amazing year. In the third game, I broke my foot. Then about two weeks later, I get a call from my dad and uh, my mom was in the hospital. Um, looking back at the whole situation, if I never would have broke, broken my foot, I would never had time to go back and spend those last couple days with her and spending those extra couple days with my family afterwards. So before, before when I broke my foot, I didn't, I didn't understand, you know, and I just went back to Bible verses and just knew it was a reason for everything happening. And after all that happened, I realized like, wow, if I didn't break my foot, I don't know if I would have been able to get home and, and be with my family and friends. So trusting and leaning in God through the good and the bad is what it's all about. I am Rod Streeter and I play for him.